on Rayam Mikhail Avanov. July 11th, 2019. And dear friends, I'm extremely happy with this impromptu visit, and I would like to begin by conveying to you all my blessings for this Franco-Spanish meeting. So, as usual, I will answer the questions you will ask me. It will also give me the opportunity, during this period that was determined by cetaceans, in which you are immersed, if I may say so, to give you some information, that perhaps you are living, in this very intense period. So dear translator friend, I am listening to you, and in French for me first, or in Spanish first and in French afterwards, it is up to you. Eliza. In Spanish first of all, what is true about the conflict between the Galactic Confederations of some, polarity? Did she tell you about conflicts? What's the matter, you're sure sure what? Eliza. The conflict of the Galactic Confederations on several polarities. I must say that I did not understand this question either. And I'm not sure sure understood. First of all, there is an intergalactic confederation of the free worlds, there is another name for another group that is actually called the galactic confederation anyway, but you know very well, today, that all this is part of the dream. And I don't see the point in talking to you again about historical data. Are you finding that you are coming out of all the stories? So I'm not going to tell you any stories either. What you have to experience happens here and now, in your daily life. What is the point of knowing the Gazette of the Cosmos, since everything has been told to you, and since, in addition, you see in your heavens, the presence already of countless ships, and that the resolution of the dream is everything but a conflict. The only conflict, I would say, is the traffic jam to get to Earth through the stellar gates. Laughs. It's a traffic jam, but I assure you that everyone is very calm and happy. And all those, wherever they come from, who would henceforth approach this solar system, would be contaminated by the freedom that there will be here on Earth. So I know very well that you said that you have countless human brothers and sisters, who like to feed, if I can say so, duality, conflicts, ever told you, how can you be fine if you imagine conflicts everywhere? How does that help you solve your own story, if I may say so? You cannot be in history, whatever it may be, and like freedom, and life agape. It's one or the other. Where do you bring your conscience, your attention, to yourself, to the heart, to the heart, to the place where there is only joy, or to something else? It is no longer time to play, it is time to be true, and the truth knows no history. We ourselves have told you a story, a real one, but to bring you to live what is to be lived now, that is, joy, freedom, fraternity and to put an end to all history. So I don't really understand this conflict thing. That's what I can answer. If you don't mind, let's move on to the next question. Eliza. The bees are dying. They're definitely leaving. What will happen with pollination? What are you going to do about it? Stay here. And I see that there are still many Spanish brothers and sisters who dream there. It is not just bees that disappear, it is all insects, all mammals, and I remind you that when we agree, here on Earth, we are also a mammal. So, whoever worries about the disappearance of bees, does not live his own disappearance, his own freedom from the dream of creation. What do you want to heal, what do you want to worry about, in this time, if not your heart, and your heart knows no history? So what is this question still, it has been said in every possible sense. But there are some who do not want to hear the truth, while all your scientists are aware of what is currently happening, I even believe that your official media are obliged to report it. I invite those who ask these kinds of questions about the conflict or bees to check where they are. In history, whatever it is, or in freedom. Take care of freedom, take care of no one else, live totally what you have to live. But if you start asking yourself questions about after, you are not available for the truth, and the truth is the joy, the liveness, really lived, it is agape, it is the fire of the sacred heart. Look at the brothers and sisters who live agape, they are only interested in the present instant, the only place where love is. But you cannot be love, and feeding stories is not possible. 
This is how you can check yourself, in a way, if you are still in a scenario, or in the truth. If you waste your time being in the consequences and questions of everything that is happening everywhere on this planet, you are wasting time on freedom and joy. It's been explained for many months now, so for the moment, I don't really understand why you're asking me these kinds of questions. Or you didn't look around you, you didn't feel this call to freedom and joy. And I repeat like others, how do you want to be fine, if you talk or look at what is fine, because what is fine is the dream, and what is fine is the truth. You cannot escape this one truth. What are you trying to understand, to plan, to try to find solutions, on this planet or in any form? Ebra repeated it to you and has been assailing you for a long time as by the when we tell you that it is the end of the dream of form, and not just the end of separation or confinement, ask the brothers and sisters who live this state of freedom. What do you want to imagine or project? Be available for here and now, for the fraternity, for humility, because that's how you find yourself, but these kinds of questions prevent you from really finding yourself, because you're not available for the truth. Then we can continue. Eliza. Could you explain to me in detail what you are referring to, between the light ships and the scrap metal ships? What would be the purpose? Thank you. But there is no. Eliza. A friend of mine from Mexico City says that, doesn't she? There is no difference today, whether it is a ship of light that is in your heavens, of whatever size they come, with the scrap metal ships. I think at the moment, we have questions from brothers and sisters who are not at all aware of what is happening. But the apparent difference, is that a scrap metal ship, is scrap metal and a light ship's a light. The scrap metal ships, come from the third dimension, unified as if dissociated, as it was said, while light ships, which are part of the intergalactic confederation of free worlds, come from the other dimensions, starting from the fifth. But today the end of the dream of creation, of illusion, ask the brothers and sisters who live it, all this is in you, and not outside you, really and concretely. If you do not perceive it, it is because somewhere, either you are still in your head, or you are still in history, and therefore duality. But again, as long as you are cluttered with these kinds of questions, how do you want to live the truth, what is to be lived here and now? We all repeated, each other, that this was the end of the dream. I invite you to ask yourself the question of what dream you want to pursue, when you have among you and around you, countless brothers and sisters, who, for example, years ago, really and concretely climbed into our vessels of light, and who today do not care about these stories, because love, agape, can no longer let these kinds of questions persist. And for the time being, the first questions you submitted to me seem to show that you are not living agape. In agape, ships are a joke, since they belong to creation, they belong to dreams, and none of them are real. And it is accessible immediately, as soon as you stop chasing chimeras, on any continuation already on this earth, of any life whatsoever. It is not for nothing that the media in all countries are talking to you more and more directly about the processes of collapse, of global extinction. What do you refuse? What do you feed? I hope all questions are not like that. So let's continue. Eliza, what does it feel like to be in the absolute? You don't feel anything, you are. You're at zero time, there is nothing to see, there is nothing to feel, but your light. You can only recognize yourself, as Ebba said. That's all. Nothing else. There is, as has been said, an evidence, a joy without purpose, naked joy. You are never fooled again by your own body, your own history, or any scenario whatsoever. To want to know what it feels like to be in the absolute is of no help to you, as has been said, but as all brothers and sisters from all over the world testify, it is obvious. It is an unspeakable love that you can only recognize, since the unknown has become known, even through this form. So there is nothing to feel, and no matter what is felt, no matter what has been lived before, I took the example of the brothers and sisters who traveled in the ships, and really, they no longer give a damn. 
You're free, you're real, and you can no longer question yourself about any future or scenario, because you are so immersed in the heart of the heart, at point zero, that it is unspeakable, and that it is not accompanied by any possible projection or suffering from history. It is true freedom, as has been said, both inside and out. That's what I can answer. We're going to move on to the next question, but if you only have questions about becoming, like that, it's useless. Eliza. This question is a little bit about the future, but it is still important in the sense, well I think, that the time that remains may not be funny. The time that remains is very funny for the one who is agape. Only the one who does not live agape will be more and more in pain, it has been said over and over again. Eliza. What will happen with the 5G, which has already arrived? What will happen when? Eliza. When the 5G, the 5G arrives on Earth, which is already on Spain. You're all going to die the same way. Laughs. Whether it is a simulacrum version and bad boys, whether it is the white light, the white paradise, you will relive it, that is, you must die under illusion, believe yourself a scenario, a story or something that must become something. No one can convince you, but I invite you to read and reread the testimonies in all languages of the brothers and sisters who live in freedom. Because the questions you are asking now are about history, about fear, about the disappearance of bees, the 5G, the scrap metal ships, realize, you're a little late there. After translation. I wasn't talking about Spain, I was talking about here, the people who ask the questions. Laughs. Eliza. Well then the next one. I thought I had come to talk to you about what is to be lived here, in this body. After the 5G, what are you gonna have there? I'm listening to you. Eliza. There are people who say that we are forming another Earth in another frequency plane. Laughs. I repeat, let the dreamers dream. Live agape and you'll see that this is all bullshit. I repeat, you don't have to believe anyone. But until you are settled into the truth, you're going to restart the little bikes right now. I repeat, read, question the brothers and sisters who live agape, they are in true joy, in true humanity and humility. But all the questions I have heard so far are still brothers and sisters who dream, who are still inscribed in the form. But if you lived agape, you could never ask these kinds of questions, it's impossible. If you don't want to read the testimonies, look at what is happening, not in your village or your city or your country, look at what is happening from all over the world. If you believe there is a new land, a new civilization, a new cycle, it is evident that you are not living the truth. And all those who tell you this are lost, they are in trouble, but it is impossible for them to live this unspeakable love that is offered to everyone. But today, and I repeat it firmly, especially in these days, it is a gate for suffering. And that's how it's going to be. And you can well imagine that all dreamers, who today do not live agape, can only take you with them in their visions, their projections, and which will be a suffering. But he who is agape, who lives the absolute, who is absolute, who has gone through everything, does not need a few visions or a few tomorrows. Agape is in the present instant, and the simple fact of asking these questions, shows with these that you are still dreaming. Agape is the exit from the dream, it is the truth, everything else, they are only projections of the dreamers, or of those who follow the dream, rather than living the unspeakable truth of love. It's one or the other, but it certainly can't be both, you'll find out very quickly if it's not the case. Anything that moves you away, in one way or another, from agape, from the present instant, is meant to move you away from the truth. There's no one to follow. There is no one to believe, just to accept that you are agape, that you are anterior to the dream, anterior to all forms, because that is freedom, and that is the absolute truth. Everything else is just a pipe dream, especially now. I think there may be many brothers and sisters who are there, who have not listened or heard Eber, or Bide, or others, and who, moreover, have not looked carefully around them. The Hate Harkadesh, the Elements, the Four Horsemen are in action from all over the world. What do you expect? That's what I invite you to ask yourself. 
Because if I only have questions like that, it'll always be the same answer. I can no longer afford to tell you stories, because the truth is there. It's up to you, what are you living, the truth or a scenario? So, maybe another question. Eliza, how do you see humanity in the awakening steps of this dream? How do I see what? Eliza, how? Is it in Spanish or French? Sister, how do we see humanity with the steps, in the face of the awakening of this dream? I heard it, but I'm not sure sure understand. Sister, how do we see humanity from the awakening of this dream? But it's a joy, it's a celebration. We see from everywhere, in all peoples, the exit of the dream, it is the brothers and sisters of whom I spoke to you who live agape. Freedom does not prevent you from doing what you have to do every day, from planning the holiday, from planning what you want, but without depending on what you plan. Those who live and who are agape are fully alive. They are already living, and for some of them for many months, the beatitude of the white paradise. So all your stories about 5GS, these are scrap ships, it doesn't mean anything today, and I would even say, it's anachronistic, or you come in, or I don't see well, and I don't understand well what you want to ask me. Because you're asking me questions only about history, about a future, but I don't hear any questions about your lived experience, about what you are going through, right now, and once again, it is impossible for us to lie to you, or to create stories or scenarios. Those who do that today are dreamers. So it's up to you whether you want to keep dreaming and suffering, or whether you want to be happy, light and free. One more question. Eliza. And where am I going in my love relationship? What do you mean? Laughs. What language did you speak now? Eliza, where I go in my love relationship. I didn't understand anything, you're not going anywhere, you've never moved. Where do you want to go? The awakening is precisely freedom, it is precisely to understand, through the experiences, but you have nowhere to go, since you have always been there, even before creation. Why do you want to go somewhere else, other than to the truth, other than to the heart of the heart? The heart of the heart is the end of all mysteries, feelings or experiences of lack. It's up to you to decide where you live right now. In the dream and its suffering, and its lacks, with its shortfalls, its sufferings, or in the freedom of a gape. It's going to be more and more clear cut, you've been warned. Once again, ask or feel all these brothers and sisters from everywhere who live in freedom. For the moment, I only see historical questions, which intersect in the logic of the dream, and which is not freedom. And no answer to these kinds of questions can allow you to be true, but on the contrary distance you from the truth, which I repeat, is present for everyone. As I said last time, millions of you are living this freedom and truth. It's up to you. It's one or the other. It is an epidemic of love and truth. Zero time, and not just adamantine particles or light, is accessible to everyone. It's really a choice. And don't tell me that you don't live it, it's because you haven't yet chosen, you haven't accepted, you haven't accepted, you haven't crossed over, hence the lack, hence this kind of questioning. Come on, let's keep going, I hope I'll have some questions that come out of it. Lively discussion in the room. Laughs. So go ahead, I hear the laughter, I think not but I listen. Eliza, I will try to translate. There is information in the media that for July 20th, we should, we are waiting for the visit of extraterrestrial beings. What's the truth in that? Is that part of the event? Yes, well, if you could have a visit of your own, it would be much more pleasant. I believe that this is part of a medium's prophecies or predictions. But realize that, even if you ask this question, you are waiting for a date, rather than living the truth. And you're all contaminated by history here. Nothing will happen on July 20th, nothing at all. If anything happens, it's between the 2nd and the 18th. Laughs. And if nothing happens? Laughs. If nothing happened on the 18th, good luck with the rest for those who dream. Sister. What? 
If nothing happened on the 18th, good luck to those who were waiting for the extraterrestrials or whatever. Laughs. Is this some kind of joke, all these questions or what? Do you believe what you are living or do you believe what the media tells you? And you know very well that, as soon as there is a date given, it is always wrong. And that's normal. Are you still hoping for the extraterrestrials? But you're the extraterrestrials. You dreamed everything, you have been everything, that's what you have to realize and live. Everything else puts you, as long as you don't see this and live it, you are still suffering and sick. As Baidu would say, you're in the disease of consciousness. You're in the projection, in ignorance. Take care of a gape. Truly. Don't feed any more scenarios that talk about tomorrow. The truth is there, in the middle of your heart, and not in the extraterrestrials of light or scrap metal, and not in the 5G, or the disappearance of bees. You are still hypnotized by appearances. I can't say it better, and I ask. Aren't these questions a joke? Come on, let's keep going. Eliza, every time I am in my silence, I see people marching in black and white. What could it be? What could it be? When you say people, are they faces of people or people as a whole? The difference is important for me to answer. Eliza, yes, they are faces. So it's only the faces of your past lives. You rewind the film, you go back through everything you've ever experienced. Eliza, I see situations and characters that I have never seen and that I have never been. Of course you've never seen them since they're your past lives. And in the current phase, as you rewind the creation, some of you may actually go back and see faces appear and disappear successively. These are the faces you wore in the dream, here on Earth, or even today elsewhere. It is the rewinding of the creative film. You're dreaming, nothing more. You made it clear that it was faces coming in, because of its scenes, staging, films coming in, it has nothing to do with it. Discussion between Eliza and her sister, Eliza. Sometimes there are also places, places, situations, yes, these are the places you've been. Don't look for an explanation here either, but let the film rewind quietly. Don't stop anything. Don't try to understand, just accept and cross, a gape is right behind you. And that's the truth. All the images, as you say yourself, they pass, and I repeat to you that not everything that passes is true. As Ekba said, you are the I, the eternal I, the absolute, prior to creation, to form, to dimensions. That's how you can recognize yourself, and not in the images that pass by, and not in the stories of this world, or your character, of course. Sister, thank you. We can continue. Eliza, what does this dream mean? In a dream, an alien being presents himself, reads my name and invites me to accompany him. He's not aggressive, but he scares me. It's the fear of the unknown. Eliza. And I wake up running away. What should I do? Don't move. Don't move. There too. Other voice. There was a bright triangle in front of the house. In the dream or in the truth? Voice. In reality. It is the civilization of triangles. That has been said and explained. Eliza. So it's the civilization of triangles. It is the civilization of triangles. All the ships and all the dimensions that there on earth, visible in the sky, but I remind you that it is already in you. All this, this dream, the luminous triangles, the places that scroll, or like the faces that scroll, are only things, elements, that bring you back to the end of the dream. If you put questions in front of it, rather than living it, you delay the live experience, you delay a gape, you are not totally available to live it, but it has been explained in length breadth and depth, and I believe that among the brothers and sisters who are there, they have not read, heard or seen anything. Room. C, 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 Macho, N, D, T. Answer in Spanish. Eliza. They say that they did, they listened a lot. Then I understand the questions even less. Imagine, there are no questions about a gape, about what is happening right now. 
dreams, I would like to, but questions about dates or what is happening with bees and the 5G, for the one who is awake, is another illusion. How do you want to live a gape if you were concerned about these kinds of questions? How are you available? How you embrace the present instant, stripped of everything, forms, energies, vibrations. A gape is here, nowhere else. And in a gape, I say it again and again, you don't care, even about us, you don't care about ships. The truth lived is reflected in its liveness, this truth, this evidence, and moreover the brothers and sisters who are established in the exit of the dream, cannot ask themselves these kinds of questions. It has no interest and it keeps a gape away. What do you feed? The characters? The dream? Or you live the awakening and the truth? Years ago I spoke of love or fear, I said and repeated enough, as well as Bidi and Eber, today it is love or suffering. Every day, it will get stronger and it will be more and more shouting, more and more visible, the truth, joy or everything else. But the rest is not joyous. And for the person, it's even very sad. I don't want to take out the sentences I was saying years ago. What the caterpillar calls death, the butterfly calls it birth. What is born now is neither the butterfly nor the caterpillar, what is born is the truth, which suffers no compromise, no discussion, when you live it. And you are committed to living it, as soon as possible and as quickly as possible. You have countless brothers and sisters who practice a gape resonance, a gape resonance network and fire of the sacred heart. See them life, their love, nothing more and nothing less. They recognized each other. They found each other again. And no one can be wrong or be mistaken as you find yourself. It is totally clear and transparent. These awakened, incarnated brothers and sisters are far more important than the ships of light or scrap metal or than anything that happens on this earth or in their lives. To live a gape is no longer to have any questions other than about the living of the moment or about dreams, yes. But as long as you're concerned about what you see in your media, I don't know what date gave a medium, the disappearance of bees, the 5G, but you don't know what's going on with the elements on earth or what. Nothing is happening on this country, it is protected from floods, hail, fire. Even your scientists, your financiers, your politicians know this. Only those who are still inscribed in the dream have forgotten to check the present instant and have forgotten to live it. I assure you that if you are one minute in the present instant, without asking for anything, without waiting for anything, without projecting anything, even through visions, images and energies, you're instantly free. It's at the level and it's real. See? See? Eliza. Well, they understood, they say yes. One more question. Eliza. That's not a question, it's long, it seems like a dream, a testing money. A testimony? I like the testimonies. Eliza. Spanish. I'll let you read it in Spanish completely. Eliza. I was awake in my bed and it was night, and in my mind, the image of a street in my village appeared in my mind, and from behind appeared a white wave that was moving along the road, swallowing everything. Will this white wave, it is the divine galactic wave that will transmute everything, and end this dream? Yes, it's a white paradise, and chances are it's also what I called the planet grid. Many of you have the vision, dreams or premonition, but that's not projecting into the scenario, because it's precisely the white paradise that ends the dream. So yes, it is, it can be said premonitory, but you're countless to be informed by dreams. In a way, it is a confirmation of what is happening right now. You are warned in every possible way by volcanoes, hail, floods, earthquakes, by the total destructuring of society, where everything that was hidden is revealed by the lighting of light, at all levels. That's important, yes. But it's real. There are countless of you, even without living agape, to be informed during your nights of what is happening and who is there. That is undeniable. The truth is so close at the collective level that many of you are living the truth in your dreams, but many of you are still inscribed in the dream of a new land, a new dimension. 
Ask those who really live a gate what they think about it, they will laugh in your face. They will tell you with love, wake up, wake up. And as I tell you, stop planning, stop looking for some kind of future, simply because in these cases, you are not available for the truth. It is there, in the present moment, really and concretely. And I repeat, for all of us, bad guys and good guys. But it is true that those who still dream are often, those who believe themselves in a spiritual process, and not in the truth. Truth is liveness, permanent smile, dilation and fire of heart, whatever the images, whatever the energies, you're free, really, inwardly and outwardly, and you have no other way to express the truth, than to celebrate, only to smile, only to be like permanently. All the brothers and sisters, incarnate, who live it, live exactly the same thing, the same liveness, the same smile, the same freedom, the same love expressed in front of everyone. It is not possible to do otherwise. But I repeat, again and again, it's there, right now, it's not tomorrow, it's not July 20th, it's every minute you decide to be free or not, try it, you'll see. Ask nothing, see nothing, plan nothing, be transparent, humble, simple, and you will live it instantly. What makes the screen, or prevents the whole thing from being revealed, is only your fears, your projections or your sufferings. Or ignorance, you have not yet received the good news. Agape testimonies, come from all countries, it is translated into all languages. So if you prefer to read that on July 20th, the extraterrestrials who are present on Earth, or anything else, you are not available for the truth, you are not available for the moment, you're elsewhere. It's that simple, and every day it gets easier. And yet, every day, some people still dream. But you don't have to believe anyone, not a media, official or not, not a medium, not a being of light, but the proof is you, you're the proof. When for decades we have told you that the truth was in you, and that the whole of creation is you, it is the strict truth that is to be lived, that is how you are free. Otherwise, as I said, you still put distance, division and suffering in you. The truth needs nothing except that you accept it and you will live it. As Bailey or Ebo would say, there was never anyone there. Do you ask yourself, do you ask me or yourself, it's the same thing, it takes you away from the availability you must have towards the present instant. And then you say to yourself, but no, I don't live agape. But how do you want to live it, if you are not totally here and now, if you have not spoken your last name and first name, aloud and intelligible, as it has been explained already for two months, or three months? If you do not start resonating with brothers and sisters who are already living agape, it is simply not possible at the moment, while, once again, in the same way that the sun shines for everyone, zero time is there for everyone. There are no privileged ones, there are not some who deserve it, and others who would not deserve it. It's a question of availability. Availability does not need time, it needs lucidity, it needs embrace, it needs humility, otherwise, it is not possible, not yet. But white paradise is for everyone. The truth is for the whole of creation, and it is happening on earth, not elsewhere, and it is happening right now. This process is becoming more and more widespread. White paradise will appear collectively at the most appropriate time, but you are in it. Individually, there are more and more of you. Individually, you have more and more dreams, which announce to you in every possible way, the famous white paradise. You have countless brothers and sisters who have begun to enter, really and concretely, into the transmutation of the carbonaceous body into the silicious body. The symptoms are real, beyond the fire of the sacred heart, which cannot be confused with the kekra of the heart or an energy that passes, it is impossible. It is through what happens in this body, whatever your age, whatever your condition. The truth is you, but not you in your projections, but you in the present instant, in the eternal present, which carries and conveys the zero time, the absolute, which has become known, because it is lived despite the presence of this form, this body of flesh. One more question. Eliza. One last question. Should we continue by saying our last name and first name until the end of the event?
But once is enough, some repeat, others brothers and sisters repeat the last names and first names of other brothers and sisters. Eliza. Oh, I didn't say it in Spanish. Ah, sorry. But you're not going to repeat your last name and first name like donkeys until the end of time, are you? Once you have said it, aloud, in the agape posture if you will, as the head chief has explained countless times, that's enough. Let things happen. Be as smiling as you cannot every brother or sister you meet, hug him, tell him you love him, and agape will be there. The rest is just film. As has been said, you have always been there, you're the whole dream. There is nothing else but you, until you live that there has never been anyone, that it was indeed, in every sense of the word, a dream, as when you get up in the morning, even if you have had a nightmare that can pursue you, despite everything, you know that it is not true, but that it was a nightmare. But it is the same today for the one who is agape. He is awake, he has come out of the dream, he has seen history for something that is passing, and he is free. It is a true joy. Besides, it was called naked joy, not for nothing. The one who is free, cannot ask himself the slightest question about what he is, and what he is not. But he can ask himself any questions he wants about the rest of his life. But compared to what it is, there is no more question. As has been repeated by countless speakers, it is so obvious, and if you do not live the obvious, you are neither guilty nor responsible, but it simply reflects that you are still a person, and only a person, or perhaps you are never, really and concretely, in the present moment. That is to say, your present moment is colored by your dreams, by the projections, by your unavailability to the unknown that is there. But I reassure you, as Egba has said for a year now, there is no way anyone can stay behind. Because the someone who would stay behind is just you, at another time, on another time Lena. It is the truth, but this truth is not to be accepted, nor to be believed, it is to be lived, and you will have the same capacity, whatever you think, whatever you say, whatever your head says, and whatever this world gives you to see. It is no exaggeration to say that zero time is there for everyone. Of course, the only preconditions would perhaps be to be simpler, more humble, in order to be truly in the present moment. If that didn't happen, it's because it's one of the two things I just said, and nothing else. Truth is not a merit, is not a fight, nor a conquest, it is an abandonment to the truth. It is not a tension, it is a complete relaxation, where there is no more room for personal stories, where there is no longer any room for tomorrow, and even less for yesterday. Decide it, accept it and you will live it. I can't tell you any better. You have the brothers and sisters who are in agape, who live the fire of the sacred heart, and they are quite capable, without effort and without desire, of allowing you to live it, with the same intensity as they do. You just have to let go of all your personal pretensions, when it happens, don't put yourself in front of the need to grab anything, or to understand anything, and you will live it. And by living it, you will understand everything, but not by the intellect, by the reminiscence of who you are, that you have forgotten, and that we had all forgotten. That's how you'll see that everything is written, that even your doubts, that even the questions you submitted to me, were planned. And you understood well that I was not criticizing, neither the questions, nor the brothers and sisters, but that it was essential that I shake you a little. Are you dreaming, or are you agape? It's one or the other, but it can't be both. And you can't go wrong, and you can't wonder, when you live it, really. As I said, so many of you are already living it, that you just have to find out, rather than watching the news and all these projections, which are real. Of course, life disappears, of course, bees disappear, of course, the 5G will be lit, but in either case, you're out of the dream. The simulacrum has joined the sacred. Wherever you look, everything is only a pretext to settle where you are, which is the best place to live the truth, especially if you are not yet living it. It is there for everyone. It is not an effort, it is a relaxation, it is an acceptance, of absolutely everything, and especially what bothers you, and especially what affects you, since what affects you and bothers you is very precisely what you have chosen to be free, even if it seems to you to be locked up and suffering.
Here again, I can only repeat these words, check it out and you live it. Accept, even if you don't know what you accept, accept everything, without exception. Wherever you look, inside and out, and it's over, you're awake. If you still believe that you are not there or that you have to make an effort, whatever it may be, it simply means that you have not accepted something from your life, from history, from your body, but it is precisely in that you have not accepted that the key to living joy and agape is found. Everything in history has been a pretext for living it like that. Accept it and check what it feels like. I will conclude with these words if there is no further question. Eliza. No, there is no other question. They're asleep. It is the only place where you can't be wrong, it is the only place where you can't be wrong, it is the place where the truth is, in the heart of the heart, here and now, and not elsewhere. Don't believe me, but you have the opportunity to verify it, and it can't fail, it's impossible, whatever your age, whatever your condition, at all levels, it's true. But, it's up to you to decide if that's true. I can't tell you any better. Have we exhausted all the questions? Eliza. Yes. So we're not going to give the word in the room. What I had to tell you, I finally told you. Today, if you're able to stand still, without asking for anything, without waiting for anything, and even without putting yourself in the postures that Eber and the head chief teach you, if you think, I'm available for what I do not know and I do not live, you live it. But on conditions that you are sincere, that you do not plan anything, that you do not expect anything and that you let everything that goes through you go through, that you do not stop anything. It will become more and more simple every day, if you do not live it, it is because you are not the ones who are simple. I didn't say you lack love or lucidity, but maybe you are not quite simple yet, and quite true somewhere. Accept it, again, without guilt and without judging yourself, and you will see the truth right away. That's what I wanted to tell you. You can also experience at this time, sometimes an unpleasant impression, without understanding why, of not being here or elsewhere. How would you put it in French, to be between two worlds, or between two waters, an impression of floating, or of the unreality of this world, but without being in another world? Perhaps you perceive this in a tremor, at times, which is not a vibration, nor an external tremor. It is the mechanism at work, not only of the transformation of the caterpillar into a butterfly, and of the understanding and living that you have never been, neither neither caterpillar, nor a butterfly, nor a form, nor from any world, nor from any stellar origin. This is the moment when only the truth remains, you are anterior to all forms, and there, at that moment, you are liberated from your character, from your history, from your sufferings, from your diseases whatever they may be. As some people said at the time, you will die healthy. Isn't that wonderful? The happy death, which is nothing more than the end of the dream, and the happiness that is there. That's all. That's all. So dear brothers and sisters incarnate, allow me, as a blessing, to give you my peace, but also that fire of the sacred heart, right now. I greet you in this way. Embrace this stranger, let everything go through, do not ask for or expect anything, be available, there, right now and you live it. Silence. The commander greets you. Room. Thank you, gracious. And I say goodbye, and a gape to all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Farewell. Through Jean Luc Young. Les Transformations. English Translation. LMF.